Writers, we know that you are the true backbone of the industry and we love you for it. We also think you're all extremely hot. A writer wrote that. <laughs> Here are this year's highly original nominees for Best Original Screenplay. In the beginning, there was a screenplay. It's the foundation of essentially every narrative film ever created, and it's the first look at the story that's being presented. But taking a screenplay from this... to this... And the Oscar goes to... Can drive the writer insane. Here's Johnny! Welcome to Inexpert Film Advice, where I give my inexpert advice on film and filmmaking. Today we're talking about screenwriting and how to get through it without running the rip out your hair. Trust me, I've been there. Screenwriting is very important. Obviously, with no story, we have no film. However, it's one of the more difficult aspects of the filmmaking process. Now, I've been writing screenplays since I was six years old, and I went from horrible to decent to wherever the heck I am now. And throughout the years, I've picked up on a few things to help the screenwriting process go by a little bit easier. Now, trust me, I'm no expert, but I think I can help. Here's my inexpert advice on screenwriting. All right, now my first piece of advice is something that I often ignore myself. Take your time. As filmmakers, we often wanna rush through the process and get our film done as quickly as possible. I'm telling you right now, there's nothing more detrimental to a film than rushing through the writing of your screenplay. Taking the time to make sure your characters are a little more fleshed out in a story that's both compelling and that makes logical sense goes a long way in the filmmaking process. Think about it, when is rushing something ever produced better results than taking your time? and making sure it's all perfect. I recently saw Suicide Squad and my main issue with the film is the stories seem kind of rushed and shoehorned together. None of the characters seemed fully developed and it seemed like everything was kind of copied and pasted together in a very short amount of time. Now I don't know how true this is, but I don't find it surprising that the main rumor on the internet is that the director, David Ayer, had only six weeks to complete writing the project. This is a prime example of being rushed through the writing process and not having time to fully develop the project. That being said, know when a story is done. Don't take too much time fleshing out things that don't really matter in the long run. Once you have your fully complete story and your fully developed characters, be done with it and move on. My next piece of advice is something that people tend to ignore a little bit. Do your research. Unless you're creating a world completely from scratch, you need to know exactly what's going on in your story. Meaning, whatever happens to your characters, you want them to have realistic responses. Research their subject matter online, see how other people have reacted to the situations that your characters are in. In the same vein, research the geography. Research the type of neighborhoods they live in. Research the type of people they deal with. Research the type of things they like to do. Research everything possible to make your film as real as possible, or rather as believable as possible. Also talk to people if you have anybody around who's dealt with something similar. It's just me. Come on, Pluto. <sighs> Next up, try not to follow what's popular. I know it's very tempting, and I've done it countless times, but following the trends never gets you noticed. Your end goal as a screenwriter is to get your screenplay into production, and if your screenplay is following something that's been done a million times, nobody's gonna wanna see it. Obviously, you're gonna have influences. Obviously, there's nothing new under the sun, as Shakespeare said, but you yourself are a very unique person, so take what's inside of you and create something totally different from what's going on in the rest of the filmmaking world. Look at it like this. If you see a white wall and a black dot on the white wall, you'll notice the black dot, not the white wall. That's because the black dot is different. Doing something different gets you noticed, not doing the same. My next piece of advice is something very important, but it's one of the more irritating parts of the screenwriting process. Rewrite. Rewrite, rewrite, rewrite. Rewriting, and I know you heard this term before, helps you trim the fat off of your script. It helps you eliminate the things that aren't necessary in the story that's being told. 
make sure you're eliminating the bad and keeping what's good. That way, when people are actually reading your script, they won't get bored with things that aren't important and actually read your script fully. Which brings me to my next tip, walk away. You want your mind to stay as fresh as possible. You want to bring good ideas to your screenplay. You can't do that if your mind has been on the same thing for two months straight. You need to walk away from it. You need to let it sit for a week, maybe even a month. Come back at it with a fresh mind so that you're able to see things that you didn't see before. Maybe there's a character that needs to be fleshed out. Maybe there's elements of your story that doesn't make sense. Maybe there's new elements of the story that you haven't even thought of until you come back to it with a fresh mind. New ideas come from a fresh mindset and without a fresh mind, you won't be able to come up with new good ideas. Speaking of fresh minds, get a second and third opinion. Having other people give you feedback on your screenplay helps you to think like different members of the audience. Everybody doesn't think and feel the same way. So having multiple voices in your head is sometimes a good thing. You'll begin to think and feel like the people that you trust enough to let read your screenplay, which will help you tell your story better for each person. You are one individual. One person cannot speak for the entire world. So to help you get your point across a little better, get different opinions from different people. Trust me, it helps. Next piece of advice, and you might look a little crazy doing it, but that's okay. Speak the dialogue. You want your dialogue to sound as natural and realistic as possible. So speaking it aloud will help you hear all the little things that don't make sense. It'll help you polish the dialogue, if you will, making it more believable, making it more realistic. You can even speak it with some friends so you can have some back and forth going. Remember, you want your dialogue to sound real and natural, not like this. Do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else. Or this. Wait, you get licking. You're hot. It's like looking in a mirror, only not. The dialogue in a screenplay tells the story. If your dialogue is unbelievable, you've lost your audience. Another piece of advice is picture it on the screen. Picturing your screenplays on the screen will help you write loads better. Try not to over explain what's going on, however. Remember that this is a screenplay, not a novel. This is a very important piece of advice that a lot of people don't do when they're first starting out. Read other screenplays. Read good screenplays, read bad screenplays, read any screenplay that you can get your hands on. Reading good screenplays helps you know what to do, helps you know how to develop your screenplays better, helps you know how to structure it better, and most, most importantly, helps you know how to tell a story better. Reading bad screenplays shows you exactly what not to do, how not to tell a story, how not to structure a screenplay, etc. Both the Oscars and the Golden Globes put out the scripts for the films nominated for Best Screenplay every year. Take those screenplays, learn from what the best in the industry are doing. My last piece of advice, and this is the most important piece of advice to writing a good screenplay, write what interests you. I know it's super corny, super cheesy, whatever, but the best art comes from within. If you're writing about things that you really don't care about, people would be able to tell that there's a disconnect there. So make sure you're writing things that interest you, whether it be sci-fi, horror, drama, comedy, whatever. Just write what interests you, and your writing will be a million times better for it. All right, guys, that was my inexpert advice on screenwriting. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If not, then yeah, give it a thumbs up anyway. Be sure to subscribe for more inexpert advice. If you have anything you want my inexpert advice on, be sure to drop a comment or mention me on Twitter. My social media handle is here. Now, before I go, let's go over my advice one more time. Take your time, do the research, don't follow what's popular, rewrite, walk away, get a second and third opinion, speak the dialogue aloud, Picture it on the screen, read other screenplays, and write what interests you. All right, guys, I'm Deontay Jenkins with Inexpert Film Advice. Be sure to tune in next week when I give my inexpert advice on directing. See you next time!